Welcome to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie. Today, um, we, we got a Hobby Lobby haul. Not really. This is three items. But it's something that I want to share with y'all. Um, y'all all know I shop at Hobby Lobby religiously. A lot of my stuff in my, my studio is Hobby Lobby. It's handy. And it's semi-cheap. I mean, I got all this for less than... 20 bucks today so it was all on sale well two items was on sale one item I used a 40% coupon but anyways he wants to see what's in it he wants to see what's in it I got a set of brushes I think they keep we'll see how well these works in the next few days well I'll be in just a few minutes I got a palette, and it is a 20 well palette, and we'll open it. On both sides, 10 on each. And then I got a set of gouache. I have never used gouache. And, um, I didn't want to spend a whole lot. I mean, half of 15 bucks is what I bought. And, we'll see how this works. Um, I am going to do a swatch. Y'all want to be, y'all want to stay on camera with me while I do my swatches? Um. So, but these is, um. There's 24 in here, and I know my palette is not big enough, but that's as big as I can get at Hobby Lobby. And these are, uh, let's see, I don't know. What size tubes these is. Twelve mls, and um, you got two whites. You got a white and then a titanium white, a uh, lemon yellow, yellow medium, yellow ochre, orange yellow, orange red, vermilion, scarlet rose, crimson red, mauve, sienna blue, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue. Depression blue, green pale, green medium, green grass, green deep, veteran hue, bought sienna, bought umber, and black. And uh, let me get a swatch out. Oh, a piece of paper out to swatch. Now I'm going to just cut it. This is how I make my swatches. Most time. That way I can just put it in my palette. And I know what's what. <coughs> well, maybe not that crooked. That was cricket. <laughs> if I can, if I, if I can say it's cricket, it's bad, y'all. I promise you, cause I can't usually tell it yet. <sighs> okay, we're gonna do what? Well, let's turn this off. We're gonna do the white on the end and the what and tan tanium white. And I'm not good at spelling, so y'all just bear with me. And usually I use a black marker, but this is what I've got handy. 
lemon yellow, yellow medium, and I will abbreviate as much as I can, y'all. Orange yellow. Orange red. And let's see how this is felt. And then mop. Okay, on the bottom, we are going to do the Sierra Blue. Cobalt Blue. Ultramarina Blue. And I'm going to abbreviate the Ultramarina. Pression Blue. Green Pale Green Medium Green Grass and something Green Deep Viridian Hue Bont Sienna And then on the end is going to be Bont and Bont And black and I'm just gonna make a place on the ends to do this and now we're gonna fill this up well I'm not gonna fill it all the way up but I'm gonna fill it So, ha who all has used squash? Um, I guess it would help if I opened the tube, huh? Man, some of these is pretty hard to do. One is not one to punch them. So we're going to take the old trusty scissors. From them. Ah, I got it that time. Might have messed, but I got it. Yellow medium. I oh, hope this one ain't this one. I can clean my scissors. Most of them make like that hard. I've never had one that hard to open. Let's see. Okay. 
yellow outcome. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, that was the, y'all can't see what I'm doing, can you? Let's move this up a little. Oh, what a that. Try not make a mess. But I ain't having a look at it. These is pretty rough to do. I'll be the first one to admit it. I'm gonna have to take a sweater off. I got dogs wanting in, y'all. <clears throat> this is the a Master Touch gouache. And, um, like I said, I use a lot of Master Touch. I use a lot of Fine Touch. I like Fine Touch, touch brushes. I buy them when they're 50% off, so they ain't really that expensive. And I like the uh, Master Touch uh, mixed media pads. I don't care for the watercolor pa pads, but I like the mixed medias. I am not sponsored by Hobby Lobby at all. I buy all this with my own money. Now, if Hobby Lobby wants to sponsor me, I'd be more than happy to. Considering I use a lot from Hobby Lobby. And I respect them for being closed on Sundays. I can honestly say I do respect Hobby Lobby for being closed on Sundays. I know a lot of people can't, won't, don't, but I do. So when I'm in Fort Smith, fat from Springdale, where there is a Hobby Lobby on Sundays, I want to go, and I'm like, no, I can't go. It's closed, but I'm fine with that. I mean, I grew up in a house well my folks did believe in eating out on Sunday and all but I know those people in the trunch that we went with to with um uh, did not believe in eating at all on out on Sundays. 
I mean, we didn't eat out a whole lot on Sundays growing up. After I got older is when we ate out a lot. <laughs> but when we was all young, all of us was at home, we didn't eat out a whole lot. It was a treat to go eat out. Whoops. Lost that lid. So. This is going to be a pretty long video. Because of all the swatching and getting the palette ready and all that fun stuff. all over me guys and gals Okay, now I'm going to put the bl I'm putting the black on this end down here. This is probably not the our idea palette for these. But it's going to work for me for right now until I figure out something else. And like I said, I was in the Hobby Lobby and bought, bought what I, I could find. After my doctor's appointment today. Okay, we're going to move this out of my way. And um, I bought these brushes just for the gouache. And I'm sure you can use your watercolor brushes or your acrylic. I don't want to because I don't like mixing my media mediums. I'm just gonna use this half inch fill for it. Now I got water off camera if y'all want to know. If y'all was wondering. Okay, let's do the white. I mean, it's just white. I mean, I know y'all can't tell nothing about it on camera. But. Okay. Now, let's see. Yeah, you can tell a little bit different whites. tell a difference between these and watercolor and acrylics. They perform more like acrylics to me.
that corner. I mean, they perform like water corners, but they, like, fit to me like um, acrylics. But this is the first time I've even dealt with squash. Squash. I want to say squash. Keep watching if y'all want more gouache videos. Um, we'll be painting with some squash in here in a few weeks. I'm going to practice with them a little before I do a video. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to us.